Here we are. We're in uh, Tennessee, Middle Tennessee, at our new uh, tobacco farm. I'm gonna light this tobacco pipe up and give you a little tour of the progress if you've, you know, if you watch, if you watch this channel. I'm like an idiot saying that. Welcome to my channel. Um, but I did a couple videos on this, this property out here and uh, I'm out here now shooting some stuff, um, both for YouTube and not, but wanted to show you where we're at with it. It's rough. We literally just got done with, I think, all of the demo. So now it's just a matter of clean up and starting to rebuild the thing. But ask questions, grab a pipe if you don't have one. I wish I had a place to set this dang phone down so I could actually light this up. Let's see, maybe up here, I know what to do. It's gonna be a very creative shot. Look at this. Ooh la la. Okay, let me light this thing up real quick. And then we'll get started. Ask away. Ask what? I don't know. Let me, hold on. Ooh, that's hot. Okay. You know, what's, you know what you shouldn't do? Pipe tip. Don't light your pipe, then stick your finger in the tobacco. It's hot. Hey, Jordan Wooten. How are you? Okay. Oh, dang. There we go. All right, cool. Cool. All right, let me get comments up here so I can see what people are saying. How? How do I do comments? I don't know. Well, let's walk around. Okay, let's start, uh, let's start out away from the house, actually, a little bit. And then we'll go through and, uh, you know, we can chit chat about whatever, whatever you'd like. First of all, look how dangerous this is. We have our children out here. How do you flip the phone? Okay, look at this. We just have boards <laughs> just full of nails all over the place. So you gotta watch your step here. But uh, anyways, we'll start out here, show you what's going on. Mm, this thing's not gonna light. I just lit it earlier for a shoot and it's, uh, I don't think it's gonna do anything. Um, I wish I could see comments. This is why I hate live videos on YouTube because all the people do, none of you watch a live video on YouTube like this one, all people do is read comments. And they're like, hi, uh, yes, yes. And you watch the video back later or live and you're just like, what is he talking about? So I gotta do that for a second here because I don't know where the comments are. They're here. Live messages all sound, I don't know. Oh, I think, <laughs> how do I do this? Oh, like that, okay, I'm an idiot. Now I see them. Okay. Um, all right, all right, let's get started. No real questions yet. First of all, oh, look how good, look how good my truck looks out on this property. Who cares? Okay, look at that. Ah, uh, let's get through it. So this is what's happened so far is uh, they've dug the footings for the addition we're adding onto the house, which is out here. And we have cleared out, uh, this is uh, probably our third big trailer load of just junk from inside the house. Is, it, is this interesting at all? If we should just talk about tobacco pipe stuff, let me know, because we can do that too. But while we talk about it, I'll probably be sitting right here. If anyone needs to use the restroom, we have restrooms all over this place. So that's good. Look at this wall of garbage. Jeez Louise. Yeah, it's a good time. But uh, if you watched the video a little while ago, we took this um, chimney down, this old brick chimney. There's some of the remnants of that. We have all the good bricks um, separated. We're still gonna use these old bricks that broke up, but our good bricks are way back over there. But uh, that's where the chimney was. Took down some of the siding and now it's just a big hole. This thing was like, this was a, a uh, pond basically. We got some crazy rain. It's just a little bit of, a, of water there. Now, um, I guess we'll go through the what is technically the front of the house. Hugs from Brazil, I can feel it. Oh, a Brazilian hug feels like barbecue. No, that's not Brazil. <laughs> that's wrong place. What's a, what's a Brazilian hug taste like? 
I don't know. I'd like to know. Anyways, let's go inside. It's gonna be very dark. We have everything pretty much shut up in here. Since, uh, well, most of it's done. The demo is done. Now it's time to be, you know, build it up. Look at this old, uh, I just love the history of this place. Back in the old days, at some point, I don't know when this door was added. That was a cool door. It still is. Okay. Oh gosh, can I even get in here? This is, uh, this is Walnut Shell Media, because we're gonna blast, we're gonna get a sandblaster and clean up the old wood, which you can see here. <laughs> Brazilian hugs taste like jungle. That is my favorite flavor. All right, so these old uh, beams that are original um, 200 years ago, we're gonna sandblast them, but we're gonna use Walnut Shell as the media to clean them up. Try to bring them back to, uh, you know, more of an original look. So this room here is the room I'm most excited about. This room is going to be what I'm calling the gentleman's lounge. My wife just calls it my smoking room, but it's gonna be cool. We're gonna, we're gonna make this place, you know, nice like bar cart and leather chairs and tobacco. And this is the most, it's going to be the most original room. We're gonna leave everything original. The floor is original. The windows we have to change out. So those won't be original, but everything else. And of course the chimney, but the chimney wasn't original when we bought the house. They added that brick chimney. We don't know exactly when, but, uh, but anyways, other than that, it's all original. It's gonna be cool. The only the last couple of things we have to do is pull this staircase out. This has gotta go. The gentleman's lounge sounds very nightclub style. Oh gosh, or stripper club. That's not the right idea. So let's change the name of it. Uh, well, what would you call this room? I don't know. It's just going to be like a, it's going to be a place to hang out. No uh, technology in here, you know, just to hang a conversation room. I don't know, but we're going to rip the staircase out. We'll go up there in a bit. Uh, this is going to be the dining room which does have the original fireplace, all limestone. So uh, we're gonna get that all cleaned up, but it's gonna be pretty awesome in here. This was added, we think in the mid 1800s, they put these, um, these over the fireplaces. You should see the nails out of those, holy cow. We're trying to dry it out in here after all the rain. Um, this is gonna be the kitchen. We, uh, we decimated this. This had like a bathroom in it. It had all kinds of other rooms and it had a ceiling, but we took that out. So now it's going to be like this. We're going to leave all these original beams. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, this is Tennessee. Someone just asked, is that house in Tennessee? It sure is. And it uh, has access to the, to the bottom, which is great. So anyways, and this wall is coming out because we're doing the addition out there. And uh, that's about it. Looks a lot better in person. No, it doesn't. It looks worse in person. I mean, look at this. This is like deadly. This, I tell you what, we, so there's been a lot of just pieces of wood hanging down. And you don't know how many times I have bent over to grab something. And I lift my head up just to smash it into this. Jeez, probably should get rid of it, but you know. Uh, so that's, that's kind of the downstairs. At least what's left of it right now. Upstairs is yeah, basically more of the same. More of these original beams. Wow, the sound changes up here. Um, the cool thing with these beams, like this one, it's a little dark. You can't really tell. But uh, a lot of them still have bark on them, on the, these trees they used. And for sure, axe marks all over. I mean, look at this. You can see how they actually did it back then with axes. We actually have one of the axes they used downstairs. So this is gonna be a like master bath and closet. This sounds amazing in a rainstorm. It's a middle roof. So that's all ready. And actually you can see down, there's holes all over in this right now. You can see down into the, what will be the kitchen. Um, this walkway, we're gonna open all of this up on this side and this side to where you'll just have a walkway 
going across to what will be the master bedroom. So you can look down over the rails down to the entryway just to open that up, which will be cool. This will be the master suite. My wife and I's room. Really cool. We were hoping to keep these original um, slats of wood here because they're amazing. These things are huge, some of them. And, um, but with the insulation we're adding, we just, we can't save them. I mean, they're gonna be there, but they're gonna be covered up, unfortunately. We were hoping to keep these beams exposed a little bit, and I don't think we'll be able to do that either. Which is a bummer, but uh, it is what it is. Um, if you, uh, if anyone out there in the world of YouTube knows anybody in the Tennessee area who has any kind of construction skills at all and would like to lend a hand, we could use it. There's so much going on here. And obviously it costs a fortune, so we're always looking to save some money. We just broke this window out. It's not original or anything. We broke it out to uh, get a breeze up here. Because they, some of the things they did in this house were just idiotic to me. I didn't understand why they did it. But they actually, somehow, some, they used some kind of adhesive for the roofing material on the glass itself. So you couldn't, couldn't use it, the window. You just had to break it out. So, yeah, that's about it. Um... We'll go outside, take a look at some of the barns, because that's something I haven't done in a video, and then i got to get back to work. And maybe we'll do a second video with all the barns and property, because there's, there's quite a lot. And I do need to get to work. None of the doors closed, by the way, so if you're in the Tennessee area, middle Tennessee area, and you can find where we're at, you can pretty much take everything we have. There's a lot of expensive uh, tools and things in here, so if you're a thief... I'm just letting you know, <laughs> this is the house, because literally none of the doors close, let alone lock. Like, the only way we can close these doors, I'll show you. This is our lock. We take the, our box of walnut shells and just, that's it. There's our lock. So, you know, this place is wide open. You need some, you know, like some drills or lots of drills. Actually, there's not too many tools in here now, but plenty to <laughs> Why am I telling you this? Why? <laughs> Stupid. All right, this door. Oh, it's closed. That one. That one <laughs> latches from the outside. I don't even know what door to go out. Yeah, none of them close. So that's about it. I mean, let's sit and chat now. We can do that for a few minutes. Ah, oh, not a bad view though. Out that direction. I mean, it's a terrible view right now. It's full of junk, but it's gonna be cool. So, uh, all right, let's 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 actually chat. This is the point in time where this video becomes completely useless to anybody watching later, because I'm just gonna go through comments and answer questions. Well, maybe maybe it'll be interesting. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Uh, so, are you guys living in your RV while you work remotely? We are. I, I keep going. We still go back to California a lot. We still have work and things out there to take care of. But we had some issues with uh, the Caldor fire with our place out uh, there. Anyways, uh, we go back and forth. But yeah, we're here in an RV when we're out here. Let's see. Lots of work. Yes, you're right. Any? Oh, what's your favorite tobacco? Some person said you have the best YouTube name ever. Some person. Um, my favorite tobacco. I had this tobacco years ago when I first started smoking tobacco pipes. And I don't know the name of it. And I've never been able to find it. And I don't know what it was. So my favorite tobacco is one I can't get again. Somebody gave it to me years ago. And it was in a bag. Like an unmarked bag. Or maybe it had a... It may have had a name on it. But just from the place they bought it, you know? But not, it was like a blend, you know, a custom blend. And it, it was the best, oh gosh, I wish I could find it again. Golly, it was delicious. I can't find it. I don't know what it was. So that's, yeah, it was, it was the best tobacco. Some person, for those of you watching, just says that truly sounds like the best tobacco. And it was, and I savored every moment of it, but I was new to tobacco then. So I was just like, I can get more of this. And then I tried to track down where it came from and that was the end of it. So now I just get. I don't know. I just always try different tobaccos. I don't have a favorite that I always go to. Although I do like uh, any kind of like 
most like a black Cavendish kind of thing. That's all I know. Um, that, that, that was fun. Ask more questions, somebody. What do you plan to do with your farm? That's a good question. Grow tobacco crops, have animals. Yes, all of that is part of the plan. All right, here, I'll lay out kind of the master plan for what we'd like to do with the property. Some of the ideas, you know, and they're in the dream phase kind of right now, so who knows how realistic these will become, but what we'd like to do with the property is a lot. For sure, I want to grow tobacco. Not a lot, just very like small batch tobacco and just sell it through this YouTube channel to uh, the few people that watch this and like tobacco, you know, because it won't be much. It's not like to really do anything with. It's just more the idea. I want to go through and learn how you grow tobacco. So I do want to grow some out here. We have actually right here, I can go out to it, but that right there is um, a tobacco barn and it's very big and it has all of the racks to dry tobacco. So this was a working tobacco farm. Um, back in the day. So I'd like to put that to use again. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to get some animals, a few, because we still want to travel a lot. So we don't want too many animals, but um, we'll get some animals, just like chickens, maybe a cow. Um, and, uh, but what we want to do that's interesting, that'll be fun. A few ideas here. Just stick with me. Um, we want to turn this into a place that people can rent out. So we want to turn the barn into, it'll, part of it will be a, a tobacco barn still, but we also want to do like events in there. Uh, we want to have, we're talking about doing like a nighttime lantern tour of the property that would include bourbon, tobacco, maybe some wine, because there's local wineries around us here, maybe partner with them, and do these events at night, certain times of the year, where you can come out and, uh, and we'll do a lantern tour of the property and show you some of the history, because there is a lot of history on this property, and then end it with a campfire which would be really cool and just kind of hang out and uh, talk about things. Maybe it's one idea. Um, another idea is to use, maybe get an old trailer and then uh, turn it into trailer bakes, which is something my wife's wanted to do for a while, maybe on the weekends, sell some baked goods out there. Um, we also want to have a little shop. Like I want to have a real shop, like where we work on things, but I mean a shop where you can come and buy things like in the tobacco bar, maybe where people can come out and, buy baked goods and uh, tobacco and maybe bourbon. Maybe, who knows? Um, I could go on and on, we have so many ideas. So let's move on, that's getting boring. What do other people say? Uh, somebody says, if you make a workshop pipe, oh, I, I do wanna make my own pipes too. I wanna do a lot of things, but. Um, then the nights end of the gentleman's lounge. Now that would be cool. Friends and family, it sure will, but. Um, oh, another thing we wanna do out here, is uh, like once a month, we've talked about doing uh, movies, outdoor movies, when weather permits. And uh, it's really gonna be, we're gonna pair a beverage, a cocktail with a movie. So if we do a movie that uh, takes place in like Mexico, like uh, what's that one movie? We had a movie in mind, I can't remember, but eh, that's not a good example. Anyway, so if we do like an old Western, let's say we do like Unforgiven or The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, we'll have like, you know, some kind of uh, whiskey based cocktail that'll go along with it along with the movie and it'll just be like a fun anyways you know we have lots of ideas so that's it uh what else um any suggestions on a sweet cherry or peach flavored tobacco no sorry i don't i don't think i've ever tried a sweet cherry or peach flavored tobacco so i'm super not helpful in that department a wood-fired hot tub is that a thing because that's a great idea somebody just said well, I guess that'll do it. Not a ton of questions on here. If you have any other questions, it's, I'm at 19 minutes, and I, I wanted to only do this for about 20 minutes, so I'll, I'll stay for one more minute. <laughs> Why do, you know, let's, let's chat about pet peeves, because Julie Ross, hello. Um, one pet peeve I have is fake laughter that people have. People that just... <laughs> <laughs> After every little thing. I just thought you should know that. All right, somebody asked, uh, have you ever seen a woman smoke a pipe? Well, my wife, I've seen her smoke lots of pipes. Uh, that's about it. I don't know. Well, no, that's not true. Yeah, I have. I've seen um, some friends of ours. Um, she smokes. Uh, like, it's always, you know, we'll just be hanging around and, and a few of us guys will grab pipes and, and our wives like them a lot too. I don't, it's not like my wife goes out and smokes a pipe on her own and neither does uh, 
these other people I'm talking about, but they'll, they enjoy them. I don't know. Do women smoke pipes on their own? I'm, I would assume so. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Favorite pipe tobacco brand? I don't have one. I don't know. Uh, probably tobacco brand. I don't even know if, <laughs> I don't, I could not, I don't think I could name a single tobacco pipe brand. So what does that tell you about me? I'm not a real tobacconist. Hmm. That's too bad. Well, I do need to go over to, um, this little barn over here. Do I? Right. Cause I, I need to grab some of my stuff so I can go show you that. Might as well. Um, look at this. There's even more, there's even more just junk around. Like if you want to steal something, there's just a lawnmower here. There's lots of stuff. This is all, uh, this is kind of interesting. No, it's not, but it's extremely heavy. This is limestone that was taken from the base of the chimney. And I don't know if you've ever uh, picked up limestone. I had not, I had never just picked up a big piece of limestone before, but it weighs more than I do. And I weigh a lot. Look at that pile. We had to move it with a tractor. Uh, let's see here. Someone says favorite pipe lighter. Oh, that's a good question. Favorite pipe lighter. Well, if you've watched any of these videos, you know that I like torch lighters. This is my favorite lighter, at least right now. This was sent to me. I got a bunch of these from this company called Guara. Guara. You can see it right there. And um, of the ones they sent me, this is probably my favorite. I love this lighter. But they, I have, they have a ton of different styles that I have. I was actually going to give them away, but then I kept them. This is another one from them. They are awesome. Uh, so this barn down here, I guess it's a barn. I don't know what you call it. This structure down here. The goal for this is to turn this into a, uh, a studio, like a home studio. And um, I'm, the theme of it that I want to go after is an old fill-in station, like from the 1930s, so old gas pumps and neon sign. Uh, should be pretty cool. It's actually, it doesn't look like much, but um, a lot of these barns they use to dry tobacco, so they have very wide spaces, gaps between the boards to let air through. So uh, anyways, it's, a, it's an awesome space. You can see the huge gaps. They actually, the gaps look a lot bigger through the camera. Um, you just see the light a lot more. They're, they're not that big, but the roof is good. It's new. It just needs some, you know, a little bit done in here, but it's pretty cool. I forgot my shirt. I brought an extra shirt. Uh, let's see. There are a few more comments here that I think I missed. Let's see. I can't use a torch lighter. Tobacco flies all over the place when I try. That's true. How's the farm and renovation? Well, it's going. They, uh, if you watch the video back, I did a little tour from the inside. And uh, yeah, I don't know, that's about it. There's also, um, all right, I'll end out here. Then I gotta get back to work, but uh, I'll take you through some of the old, some of the old cool stuff that was in the house. We put it out in this barn. This was the corn, what'd they call it? The corn, it wasn't a corn barn, corn crib. That's what it's called. There's actually still a lot of corn in it. From who knows when, probably a long time ago. But uh, we used it to put some of this stuff in. So this was all in the house. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, most of it, I have no idea what it is. I do know what this is. This is a uh, snake skin. It looks to me, we have found, if you don't like snakes, we have found so many snake skins in the house because the house was actually used as a museum for a number of years. Nobody actually lived here for quite some time. But uh, it was a big snake. I think looks kind of like an Eastern Diamondback, doesn't it? So uh, yeah, there's just stuff that we're gonna use for decor. Look at that old spinning wheel. Um, there is, I can't even get to it all. There's like old pans there, this old table with a lot of tools on it from back in the olden days. 
yeah, there's, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff buried in here and uh, we have stuff out there also, but pretty cool. This is an old baby crib. This is filled with stuff. This is filled with old tools. So I'm gonna show you in here. Every time I open one of these doors, I'm expecting something to pop out, but you see back there, all the cord, lots of it. So I don't know what exactly we have planned for a barn like this. All kinds of old barn wood too. I mean, tons of old barn wood, not just in here, but mainly out in this old tobacco barn. Um, and there's more up here on the hillside. I've showed this in video before, but this is uh, our little cemetery where Albros Blackburn and Kin are buried. So um, we have, we're really gonna clean this area up and pay it adequate, proper respect because he was a Revolutionary War vet. He fought in the Rev, not the Civil War, the Revolutionary War. So it's a very cool little area that we want to, you know, really make a nice tribute there. Like and really pay the respect that it deserves. All in due time, we're gonna make this into, uh, probably where we'll put some RV pads for when people come and visit back there a ways, maybe. Have a lot of trees to clear out still. And then this barn is, um, well, it's temporary storage right now of just stuff of ours, but uh, we're working on getting something better. All kinds of good stuff. So, yeah, a lot of work, but some of this, <laughs> see, that was a fake laugh. Oh, I'd never even noticed this. A chainsaw bar, it's there. Um, but, there's so much old wood out here. Look at this stuff. It's nice stuff. Old windows. And then you can see, I mean, you can't tell from the video, but this barn is actually really big, really tall. And these were all the drying racks for the tobacco. If you've ever seen an old tobacco barn, they would just lay the leaves up in like bundles. And it had all these old, these huge slats to let the air go through because you would, you know, try to dry out the tobacco. This old beam. I mean, I wear a size 12 to 13. I mean, look at the size of that thing. Yeah, well, it's, I mean, there's a lot more, but that's a, a quick overview of the place. It's uh, definitely a lot of work and will be for some time to come, but it's cool work, you know? It kind of positions you or makes you feel like you're back in the old days where there's a lot to be appreciated and admired and uh, a lot of uh, goodness to take from the old days. So it's beautiful though. It really is uh, gorgeous out here, quiet and yeah more there's more stuff back there and back there and back there and back but i think that'll do it for now right what else let me let me just skim through the comments to see if there's anything else wonderful here uh let's see have you not been uploading or has youtube just not had you in my algorithm oh you sweetheart i have not been uploading i feel I always feel bad about it because I do want to grow this channel a lot. It's always on my mind, but between the house and it's just been a really busy time for me work-wise. I do video work to pay the bills. So that's been busy. Obviously the house has been crazy. And, um, and I guess I could turn this toward me. So I'm actually talking to you and it's, uh, it's been rainy. Like we've had some big storms come through out here and then we were in california just came back out recently and it rained a lot and uh, there's not really a great indoor place to shoot because obviously the house is torn apart and uh, it's not fun to film in the trailer so kind of have to wait for better weather 
which is part of what I'm doing today. It's a beautiful day, so I'm trying to shoot a lot of videos. All right, let's see, what else did people, what else do y'all people say? Oh, let's see. Oh, oh yeah, 100K subscriber. Oh man, I, yeah. <laughs> what did you say here? Bean, I can't tell what it says, um, but uh, 100K subscriber special smoking snake skin. <laughs> yes, that's gonna be, that's the 100,000 subscriber video. What else can you put in a tobacco pipe that used to be living? <laughs> it's nasty. Um, how many acres total? Uh, not a lot. We actually, we want to get a lot more. There's about 10 acres out here, but uh, we'd like to get around 100, 150 is what we're aiming for. But it's a start. It's a point in the right direction. Um, greetings from Italy. Hello from Italy. Do you have water on the property, like a stream or a lake? Um, no lakes, other than when it rains really hard. We have, um, there's some creeks, very large creeks that flood um, right here. So it's not technically, it kind of goes between property out here. But uh, yeah, there is water all over. Just, we don't own the water. We have a well though, so that's cool. What renovations are you planning to make? Well, I guess I didn't really talk about the renovations too much. I mean, basically we have this addition we're adding here. Um, this was not original to the house. This was about 100 years old, added 100 years ago, um, a little over 100 years. This is the old part of the house. This is the 200 year old part. And so we're just taking this wall off and making an addition here, adding an addition. There's gonna be a little living room and some bedrooms for the kids. And then um, inside, I'm not gonna go inside again, but you can go back to the beginning of the video and I kind of pointed out some of the renovations we're planning planning to do in there. Now we're also doing some additions to the back. You can kind of see there. And uh, oh, there's another barn of sorts. They use this for the old well, part of it, part of the water system. But we're going to be moving this barn, another barn here. It's a really cool one. And uh, more back there. But uh, what did someone just say here? Oh, do you like Tennessee or California better? Um, I personally believe that there is no better state or possibly place in the world to live than California. But there's a big, um, there's a big disclaimer, I guess, with that. Now, Cali I should say California is, I think it'd be hard to argue, one of arguably one of the most beautiful places in the world. Um, especially some of the places in Northern California that a lot of people don't go to. So, let's sit. I keep saying I'm gonna end this and then I don't. Um, yeah, California is my favorite place ever, but it's a terrible place to live right now. and has been for a number of years, um, just because of the, the leadership in that state is, uh, it's a mess. That state is a mess to live in, um, for me and my family anyways. So, so we, uh, Tennessee is an amazing place also for different reasons. Eh, you know, you make do with where you live and what you have. But if I had my pick, I'd live in California, but I would change a lot about it, but I can't. So Tennessee is, uh, it's been amazing. We love it out here. Let's see. Don't watch The Conjuring after movie. I know. this. That was one of the fears our kids had moving to this house because we like we like moderately scary movies. Like The Conjuring's a little much for me. I don't, I don't like super uh, creepy movies. But we do like, we, we, we watch a lot of kind of, kind of creepy stuff. And, uh, and they all take place in this house. I think every old horror movie was shot at this house. So my kids were like legitimately like, if this place feels weird at all, or if anything weird happens in that house, we're leaving. And luckily it's been great. But the first time I visited this house, it was by myself. And it was uh, uh, early morning, very rainy, dark day. So, and the house, all of the windows were covered and there's only a few windows in there. So it was dark. And I went through the whole place by myself and I was like, yeah, this 
This place is a little creepy, but ah, it's all gone. It feels good now. Greetings from Australia. Awesome channel. Really enjoying it. Well, thank you. What an amazing property in history. Any interesting finds since... Uh, yeah, we found a few cool things in the house as we've gone through it. Which I'll go over later. I don't feel like getting up. <laughs> and I'll show you later. But there's been some cool things, yeah. I work at a bank over here in California. Very cool. What part of California? Are you in Zeke? Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, you have no idea how many wire transfers I've done for people moving out of California to Texas or Tennessee. What is... Oh, I see, because you're at the bank. Now I get it. I'm like, I don't understand. No kidding. Yeah, there's a ton of people uh, moving, well, everywhere out of California and out of the East Coast, which is interesting. Both the East Coast and the West Coast have, have something in common with each other, and they're both places in the country that people are leaving in droves to go to the middle of the country, which is interesting, or other parts of the country. Anyways, uh, let's see. Love your channel. Greetings from Turkey. Wow, well, that's cool. Thanks for watching from Turkey. What is uh, what does a hug from Turkey smell like? I asked that earlier with somebody from Brazil. So, okay, I gotta get to work now for reals. But now more people keep asking things, so that's kind of fun. I just moved to California in June for film. Oh, that's awesome. But I think we're gonna move away for the reasons he was spoken about. Yeah, it's tough. It's so hard because that state is amazing. Um, well, all right. I really got to get to work now. Thanks for watching. Um, there's more video. I shot a bunch of videos today, so I'm going to be uploading some good new videos coming up soon. Isn't that exciting? Not really. Um, all right. Well, thanks, gang. I'll do another one of these shortly. We're getting um, fiber installed out here in a couple of days which will make things a lot nicer. Because I, unfortunately, my work is way too dependent on the internet, which is something I'm hoping to change because uh, being dependent on anything you don't have control over is a little scary, isn't it? And our world is, uh, most people, me included, are so, um, what am I talking about? That's not the point of this video, it doesn't matter. Okay, somebody just said, hello from Fort Bragg, California. My gosh, I love Fort Bragg. My wife and I got married in Fort Bragg. We love it there. And then had a, a little mini honeymoon on our way out in uh, Mendocino. Ugh. Last, we, we, were, we just came, we were in California again just recently. And we were hoping to get up to Cal uh, Fort Bragg, but we didn't. Went to Monterey instead, but Fort Bragg's amazing. Okay, that's it. I'm getting distracted. Thanks, gang. Talk to you later. No, I won't. Sometime. At some point. Goodbye. Oh, gosh.